I have the fire extinguisher on hand just in case. Here we go. I got one that I think will work. Okay, you guys ready? Three, two. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and this is my craft corner. And today we're gonna be trying a bunch of fun TikTok life hacks and pranks that I found. I'm gonna tell you right now, I spent hours looking for these things. Just constant hours and hours of mindless scrolling. I did it for you guys, okay? Anyway, let's do this. They say that if you put baking soda into ketchup, oh. something cool happens. Oops. More shaking. This one looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's grab our baking soda and our ketchup. Oh man, I really hope I have freaking ketchup. Oh, I'm in luck! Oh boy, I can't wait for this mess to happen. This is honestly such a waste of ketchup. This is so much ketchup. So can I just, here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah, I think that should be enough, right? Okay, now we have to mix. Shake, shake, shake! Very powdery. Let's really mix it all together. Dude, it's starting to expand. Oh, I'm scared. This is gonna be scary. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. I'm scared to open it. I feel like it's just gonna pop open. Okay. Keep sh- Oh, it's solid now. It's gonna bust. Oh my god, it's gonna- Oh gosh. I'm kind of scared. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna throw a spoon at it. Two. Oh gosh. I get this rake. What if I poke it with this rake? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Come on, cat. Come on, cat. Dude, I'm so scared. <gasps> that is in a very, very solid bottle of ketchup. Like it feels like glass. Oh my gosh. Shake it up some more. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna open. Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh my god. Ooh. That got everywhere. Oh, it keeps going. Oh no. <gasps> wow. Oh. oh no, I got it all over my white awning. Oh, I really hope that doesn't stain. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Let's go find ourselves some cheese. Mm, Gouda, delicious. Mm, mm, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Have something for you. What is it? Come here. No, no come here. No, what is it? Tori, come here. No. No, come no. here. Tell me what it is. No. <laughs> Get him, Veg. Get the flying cheese. It is what it he threw cheese at me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you go. <laughs> Beautiful. Perfect. I love it. Thank you. It's good. <laughs> and see. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I don't think Tori ever saw it coming. She threw it at me. Bench, you don't want this. This is gonna be revenge cheese. Let me in. I'm gonna cheese you. I'm gonna cheese you. Here you go. My fiance got sweaty on his run. Time to dry him off. We're gonna need a few things for this one. And that's exactly why I'm taking you to my garage. Oh yes, welcome to my garage. Wait, I need to turn on the lights. Welcome to my garage. It's basically my craft corner, but only, you know, the garage stuff. And if you walk with me a little bit over to the right, we have a bunch of storage bins. I still have to kind of organize them a little bit, but in one of these, I have a bunch of paint stuff. I'm guessing it's the blue one. Oh yes, it's my paint stuff. This is exactly what we're looking for. Don't need any of that. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up really quick and then we're gonna get to it. So now that we have our paint roller, we just go ahead and grab our trusty leaf blower, and we just go ahead and tape it right on. Boopity boop. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Pretty on there. Plug it in, plug it in. Go ahead and put on our toilet paper. It should just slide right on there. I'm pretty excited for this one. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Come here, I have a surprise for you. I have special surprise. It's 
really good surprise. <laughs> She's hiding. <laughs> yeah. Did you like surprise? No. no. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 one tablespoon sugar, one tablespoon flour, one half teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon cocoa powder. Stir. Put one Oreo in there, sink it, and have it covered with that stuff. Microwave, one minute. Okay, guys, the first thing we're gonna need is something to put this masterpiece in. What a beautiful mug. If you guys wanna follow me on TikTok, my ad is at Robbie Epic Sauce, along with everything else. Anyway, after that, we grab some Oreos. All I have are the golden Oreos, and it blends in with the background. We're supposed to grab three of them. No more, no less. Go ahead and mash them up. Oh, yes. One fourth cup of milk. Add a little bit of sugar. Like this freaking needs any, am I right? Half a tablespoon of baking powder. Yeah, that's about half. One tablespoon of flour. Boop. I actually don't have any cocoa powder because uh, mine actually exploded. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this hot cocoa mix. I'm sure it's like pretty much the same thing. Like it's just cocoa powder, right? I probably added way too much. Oh, one tablespoon? Oh, that's way more. Oh, we are good. Probably a little too much. Mix, mix, mix! Mmm, that looks delicious. Oh god. <laughs> we go ahead and add one more Oreo for good measure. And just bury that right in there. Now you're going in the microwave for one minute. And this little piggy went to the microwave. I'll see you in one minute. Okay, what's the verdict here? Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, that almost looks like it could be a cake. I feel like it needs a little bit more time, so that's what I'm gonna do, but I am impressed. Let's try it on 30 seconds, shall we? Okay guys, and here are the final results. Can you see that? Can you, can you, can you see inside? So it kind of looks like it cooked actually. It looks like a cake. It's no longer liquid inside. It actually looks, uh, you know, cake-like. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed so far. But how does it taste? Let's find out. This is Robbie's official taste test review. Maybe I should start a food review channel. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is, uh, this is what it looks like. Definitely interesting. <laughs> It tastes like a cake, like a very moist cake. Actually, this is, this is like one of the moistest cakes I have ever eaten. Look at that. Oh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of Nutella. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, boo. Ooh. Oh, 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 this is gonna be good. Woo! I'm gonna eat this whole thing. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one definitely works. And it's delicious. First, take your pint glass, same way. Why would I go to my regular refrigerator to get Monster when I can go to my giant Monster fridge to get Monster? Ooh, baby! This has to be the best thing I've ever found on the side of the road. Well, technically Kyle found it. Anyway, got our Monster, got our glass. Well, I'm using a mug for this one. I'm sure it's the same thing. Cracker open. Also, I know they use beer for this one, but I'm using Monster instead because I don't drink. Also, I really want Monster to sponsor me. Okay, you ready? One, two, and... I can't get... Oh, no. There we go. Oh, wow! Dude, it's not fizzing up at all. That's great. The perfect pour. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. So am I the only one that didn't know when you blend together regular sugar, powdered sugar, it turns to cotton candy? What the heck? What? Okay guys, so I really wanted to do this one, but unfortunately I don't have any powdered sugar. I literally looked everywhere. I just have no powdered sugar in my house. But I googled it and it said I can make powdered sugar in the blender. Well now we're just killing two birds with one stone. Okay. Here's our high power blender. Then we just go ahead and toss in some sugar. Gotta save some for the second part where we add more sugar. I'm sorry to think that this might be a ruse. Here we go. Man. This powder is 
is fine. That's probably better than store stuff, if I'm being honest. Mmm, tasty. Okay, so now that we have our powdered sugar, we go ahead and add more sugar. Yes, this is totally going to work. You see the two different types of sugar? I'm excited to have some cotton candy. Okay. Back in the blender it goes. It doesn't really look like cotton candy is being formed. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so uh, this is what it looks like. You know, I've eaten a lot of cotton candy in my day, and I can confidently say that that is not cotton candy. Yeah, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this doesn't work. Which is really unfortunate, because I was looking forward to having an easy way to make homemade cotton candy. I guess I'm just gonna have to buy a cotton candy machine. Okay guys, so first things first, we're gonna need a liquid. And this is kinda clear, so I'm gonna brighten it up with some blue food dye. Boo -boo -boo. Mix, mix, mix! Ooh, that is a really pretty purple slash blue. I wonder how this monster tastes now. It definitely tastes a little bit more blue. I think the color does something to the flavor, I don't know. So now we're gonna go ahead and pour it into a wine glass. Perfect! Oh no, but I actually wanted to put it in this wine glass. So all we gotta do is get a straw, do a little snip snip. Put these guys really close together, and hopefully some magic's about to happen. Just kind of dunk it in like that. Is it gonna work? It's not working. Okay, we'll try it again. Maybe I cut the straw a little too short. Oh, no, it's working! I got it work! It's working, it's working! Oh my gosh! Wow. Science at its best. I'm gonna try it with a longer straw. It's working! It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going! Oh my gosh, it's still going. Oh my god, keep going, keep going. What? Oh! Well guys, I guess I've got to say that this one 100% works. It just kind of stops whenever you get to the end of the straw. But it actually works. I don't know what I use this wine glass for, but it tastes a little weird. Just gotta get a charger real quick. Perfect. All right, the batteries have the charge one this way, the other one the other way. Then you put the other one on the top like this. All right, guys, the last step is just to plug in the phone. See, as you can see, it's connected. Plug it in. Don't buy more shit! Okay, guys, so here's our charger. Here's my phone. And instead of using small batteries, I'm gonna go ahead and use giant D batteries. Honestly, if these don't work, I don't know what will. So we just go, whoop, and then so that it touches. Just like that. And then we put this battery right here. Wait, I need to flip one of these around. Just like that. Okay, that's better. So we put it like that. Then we grab our phone. Plug it in. Three, two, one. It's not working. I think my charger might be broken. Here we go. I got one that I think will work. Okay, you guys ready? Three, two. What? Nothing? Oh, maybe that will do it? No, nothing's happening. How the heck am I gonna charge my phone now? Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Really unfortunate. I thought this would be a really viable life hack. TikTok, I trusted you. Teacher is bored as farts with no students to teach. Oh, hey, let's throw crap in the microwave. Lipo, surely this will be fine. Beaker, a little water. Is this a bad idea? Still gonna send it? Call me Thomas freaking Edison. Okay, so here's our microwave. And what I'm gonna do just to be safe is get myself a surge protector. Plug it into that bad boy. And I take that surge protector and plug it into another surge protector. Now I'm double safe. That's how it works, right? I really hope so. I don't have a beaker, so instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this measuring cup. Can't forget the water. Oh no, Ugh, I really need to do dishes. <laughs> Yeah, that should be enough. Go ahead and grab our light bulb. Something like this ought to do. It's even low wattage. Drop that in. Boop -boop -boop. Okay, I'm gonna have the fire extinguisher on hand just in case. And... Oh God. Is it gonna light? Is it gonna turn on? Turn on, turn on, turn on! Yeah, nothing is happening. It's kinda scary, so I'm gonna stop it. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one Work. What a shame. I was excited to light up my microwave in new and fascinating ways. Woo! Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. It looks like this fight right down there. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. I try my hardest to upload every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. You know, sometimes it, it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But that's an even better reason to subscribe. And if you guys are feeling bored, feel free to click any of these cards. They're all great, I promise. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi Fi. Upgrade. Okay, bye.